वेलकम टू इकोहॉलिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन और अ न्यूमेरिकल व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टीपीसी सो वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई ऑल दैट वी हैव लर्न टिल नाउ इन द मॉड्यूल ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ टीपीसी एंड विल सॉल्व अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एनसीईआरटी सो लेट्स बिगिन फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन the question talks about two goods that have to be produced in the economy and these two goods are chairs and bulbs okay now there is a certain table that has been given in this question which talks about the production possibilities of chairs and bulbs respectively now we need to calculate the marginal opportunity cost also called as marginal rate of transformation okay for the given data okay and we need to address these three questions first question is what does this indicate then second question is to draw the ppc and third is what is the shape of ppc so let's start solving this simple numerical and understand the concept of ppc holistically here we have been given the data okay and the data represents chairs and bulbs and we will calculate the marginal opportunity cost for each of these items right so let's start with the question now here we have 100 chairs and when 100 chairs are getting produced in the economy zero bulbs are getting produced now you all know that marginal opportunity cost the formula for the marginal opportunity cost is what delta y upon delta x okay delta y upon delta x where y shows loss and x shows gain right so from this particular formula we are going to devise the numerical now here we have 100 100 is y and bulbs is x okay and we need to understand how the production of more and more bulbs is going to happen while we sacrifice the production of chairs if you are confused why i took bulbs as x commodity and y as chairs so to address that let me just get back to the question they have mentioned calculate the marginal opportunity cost of producing more bulbs in place of chairs so here we get to know that chairs production has to be sacrificed and what we gain is bulbs and in ppc x commodity is gained for the sacrifice of y so which is why we know that bulbs is x and chairs is y okay now we need to go for the now this is because here there is no change we need to represent the the change in y upon change in x will be the formula for the marginal opportunity cost and in the first section we have no change so here we will just write a dash or a hyphen because there is no change how will we uh, you know put a formula over here now next is very important so from here we'll start putting the formula from the second unit so let's say that when 10 chairs production is sacrificed we gain what do we gain we gain 25 bulbs or the production of 25 bulbs okay so here 100 minus 90 will give you 10 okay and 25 minus 0 okay look at the arrow arrow means gain because we have gained the 25 bulbs that's why the gained uh, unit uh, will be the bigger one and we will subtract the predecessor uh, predecessor right so here we have 25 and which is why what we will write is 10 upon 
right so that's what we are going to write we can write it as 0.4 as well okay now let's talk about the next one so let's say for availing more of bulbs or producing more of bulbs we need to reduce from 90 chairs to 70 chairs now means 20 chairs are not going to get reduced because we need to add 25 more chair uh, 25 more bulbs so 90 minus 70 gives you 20 and 50 minus 25 gives you 25 so here we have what we have 20 upon 25 which is about 0.8 right now same way we are going to solve the whole numerical here is sacrifice and here is gain here is sacrifice and here is gain here is sacrifice and here is gain okay so now let's uh, do for the others as well 40 minus 10 is 30 and oh sorry i have okay 70 minus 40 is 30 and 75 minus 50 is again 25 okay so that becomes 30 upon 25 30 upon 25 which is equal to 1.2 now we are going to again calculate 40 minus 10 is 30 and 85 minus 75 is 10 which just is 30 upon 10 which means it's 3 and finally 10 minus 0 is 10 and 87 minus 85 is 2 so 10 divided by 2 is what 5 now pay very close attention to the marginal opportunity cost also called as marginal rate of transformation 0 0.4 0 0.8 1.2 3 and 5 here we see that gradually the marginal rate of transformation or the marginal opportunity cost is increasing okay so this is an increasing trend 0 0.4 0 0.8 1.2 3 and 5 what does this increasing trend showcase or the question that we had they stated what does it indicate so this indicates that there is an increasing trend of marginal rate of transformation or the mrt is increasing the slope is increasing which tells that when additional units of bulbs need to be produced in the economy more and more and more chairs production needs to be sacrificed because we have same amount of resources that need to be utilized efficiently in the economy and which is why more and more sacrifice will happen for one commodity to gain more and more of other commodity now finally we are going to so now let's draw the ppc for the same data and let's understand what exactly happens on this ppc so here on the y axis we have chairs and on the x axis we have bulbs okay on the y axis and on the x axis i am going to draw the scale of 10 interval okay so we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 similarly on the x axis also i'll draw this similar scale 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 because we know that bulbs only go till 87 right so which is why we are going to draw it like that now we are going to place the units of chairs and bulbs on the data and then we will see our whole mrt how it 
actually is represented okay so when the chairs are 100 bulbs are 0 when chairs are 90 bulbs are 25 when chairs are when chairs are 100 bulbs are 0 when chairs are 90 bulbs are 25 so this point okay then we have when the chairs are 70 the bulbs are 50 when the chairs are 40 the bulbs are 75 okay so again when the chairs are 70 bulbs are 40 so we have it over here and when the chairs are 40 the bulbs are 75 so somewhere somewhere over here right now finally when the chairs are 10 the bulbs are 85 and when the chairs are 0 the bulbs are 87 so 10 bulbs 85 Not here actually. When the, the chairs are 10, bulbs are 85, and when the chairs are 0, it's about somewhere here. Okay, so we are going to draw this PPC. Now, if you locate the points, you can see that there is going to be some brief disturbance. Okay, okay, or there can be some brief. Um, disturbance like this okay but it will not uh, showcase any type of convexity it will showcase concavity only okay because it is going in this uh, space time okay now this showcases what that the ppc is concave to the origin okay secondly mrt mrt marginal rate of transformation is increasing okay then thirdly this is a downward sloping curve okay so these are the findings of our ppc now now if you just look at what we have done when for example let's talk about point a and point b so when the loss of 10 units of chairs happened, there was a gain of 25 units of bulbs. When, when there was a loss of, loss of 20 chairs, there was a gain of how much? There's, there was a gain of 40 bulbs. Okay, so this is how you plot your diagram of PPC and these are the findings that can tell you what exactly happened in this particular numerical. So we found out the, uh, in, the amount of marginal rate of transformation. We also calculated MRT. We also drew the PPC and we also now have the findings of the PPC. So I hope that this numerical will make many concepts clear about PPC and we will keep on presenting more such numericals for vivid microeconomics and other modules. So till then, stay tuned to Ecoholics. Thank you.